Dean, back on board for another season. Happy to be with the club again. Yeah, of course. Um, it's always nice getting an extension after working so hard for the six months that I was here, but it's a great club to be at. Um, it's one that's got big ambitions, like myself, and really looking forward to getting going again. You joined halfway through the season. How's your time been so far around the CFA and, and, and around the city environment? Yeah, well, you look around, you, you see the facilities and you see what this club is about and the ambition and drive that it has is uh, second to none. So obviously coming halfway through in, in, in January is always uh, tough to settle in, but uh, you know, it's a great bunch of lads here and you know, everyone made me feel welcome, which was great. And uh, you know, I can't speak highly enough of the club. One appearance against Wellington this season. Tell us a little bit about how, how that came about and uh, how you came on at half time and how you had to deal with the conditions there. Yeah, uh, it was funny because it happened so quick. Uh, as Tommy was coming off, you know, like we spoke and he said, like, listen, Dino, you need to get ready. Um, but sometimes it's good getting thrown in the deep end so quick, we don't have time to think. And, you know, with the conditions and so forth, it was a tough match to come into. But, you know, it was always great and getting your debut for the club. Uh, you spoke of Tommy. Uh, what's it been like working with, with Thomas Sorensen? Obviously, when I was a younger boy in, in Europe and at Liverpool and stuff, I uh, watched Tommy play in the Premier League and stuff like that. So to work with him now is, uh, is, uh, is big for myself because I can only learn off him. Uh, he's a top character and a very good guy. We get along well and, uh, you know, to work under someone who's had so much, um, you know, experience at such a high level playing for his country is, uh, is you know, something I'm very grateful for. We had a big season as a club this season. What are you looking forward to most next season on, as a team front and on a personal front? Uh, for myself, personally, I'm, I'm here to uh, obviously push Thomas and work with Thomas. I would like to hopefully now down the number one position. That's my aim and, uh, you know, get as many games and minutes as I can and also progress as a goalkeeper. Um, and as a team perspective, you know, being at a club like this, at such a massive club, you know, we always want to win things, so hopefully next year we can go that one step further and, you know, get a, get a trophy or, you know, a couple, whatever. But it's always a the aim is to win things at this football club and that's what we want to do next season. And your time in Melbourne so far, how have you enjoyed the transition? Yeah, it's a, it's a great city, you know, I love my coffee and my restaurants, so there's plenty of that here. But, uh, you know, being at Sydney, the family's in Sydney, so it's a bit tough at times, but it's a great city to be around.